you know, being someone who has a lot of family in Gaza, being someone who has his grandfather's home in Gaza, um, I can't be silent about the suffering, the intense amount of suffering that they're going through, especially with how we are supporting it and how we are enabling it as a country. So I feel like it is important for other fellow taxpayers and other citizens to know exactly what their country is capable of doing and what it is not doing to stop this genocide. I mean, we have a lot of complicated issues here at home that, our ta that require the attention of our tax dollars. This year alone, our Congress authorized $26.5 billion to be sent to Israel. It's not like we're a perfect country. We have a homeless issue. We have insane medical bill issue. We have expensive health care. We have aging infrastructure. So to me, when you're taking money out of me and then you're sending it to kill, literally kill children, 17,000 of them, it's just wrong on so many levels, so many levels. And I'm extremely disappointed um, and utterly shocked, to be honest, that the United States is still standing behind this bad policy for 11 months. How? What has Israel done that has given the United States or, or, or made it earn being the United States' biggest allies? Israel didn't fight in Iraq. Israel did not fight in Afghanistan. Israel is not helping us pay down our debt. Israel has been leeching off the United States for 60 plus years. It's as simple as that. They're our allies because our politicians are saying they're our allies because APAC funds their campaigns. So no, I disagree completely with the fact that Israel is our ally. Our ally would not drag us or try to drag us for 11 months into a war with Hezbollah and Lebanon and a broader Middle East conflict.